All right, so you're probably aware that you can't set up a stop during pre-market and also post-market, but now there's a way to maneuver your way around it and it works actually quite well. So in this video, I'll show you how to set this up and also how to set up a stop at high a day and low a day just as a little bonus. So as usual, before getting the video, a quick reminder that all the best tools will be linked in the description. So if you're looking for a good broker, scanner, charts, or newsfeed, don't forget to check that out. Let's get right in. All right, so in this video, what we're gonna do is go over setting up a stop in pre and post market. And I'll show you the best way and I'll break down how it actually works because it is quite complicated, but it's all going to be done with a hotkey at the end of the day, which is going to be really good and what you want to do. For this example, we have LGVN. Let's say that for some reason you want it to be long. I personally don't recommend it, but maybe this is what you would want. And you bought here at 478 and you say, maybe I want to keep a stop at 414 in the after hour. So normally what you would do is just buy here and then just go in your level two and just set up a stop like a stop market. And during the regular trading day, it would work quite well. But what happened is that in the after hour, you can't have market order. So because you can't have market order, you just cannot put a stop. But now I figured out how to do it using a trigger order. So this is what we're going to do. And we're going to create one for the long side and also one for the short side. So let's say you're short the stock and you want to risk maybe high a day. This is how it's going to be done. And after that, you can do the same thing that if you're long, then you can risk maybe low a day or a set price that you would prefer. But for this, we're just going to have to put on a position. So uh, right now the price is 478. So doesn't really matter. I'll put an order at 480 to buy. And now here we go. I'm going to be long over here for one share so for this example it's going to be fine and i have my hotkey set up and right now the only thing i need to do for my hotkey is just set up the price that i would want my stop so let's say at 470 and then i'll just set my order and what it's going to do is going to send an order for one share and ltn it means it's going to be a trigger order so whenever the price over here reaches 470 what it's going to do, it's going to be over here at 470. It's going to buy me one share because you can't put a stop order to just sell. What you need to do is send an order to buy and then it's going to have an attached order to sell your whole position. So the first order to buy is the trigger for the sell of your position. And I'll go over when we look at the code to make sure it's very clear because you do want to understand what's going on. So, all right, because now the price keeps on going up, which is what you would want if you had a real position. Um, I'll just put it over here at four, maybe 482, just so it actually triggers. So now it did trigger and we'll look at the execution log just to show over here what happened. We can see right over here that we did have the buy over here at 477 for one share. And then we had a trigger order over here that what happened is that it bought one additional share and then it sold the whole position. And even if I bought uh, 5,000 shares and my trigger order would be one share, it doesn't matter because what it's going to do is going to send a trigger for one share and then it's going to sell your whole position because what this is what the key is triggered to do. So this is just the brief explanation. So what we have in terms of code is you're going to have route Arca to buy and then you have your semicolon share equal one because you always want it to be one then it's going to be price equal price so price equal price means the price I want is the price that is going to be in my level two in the little in the little box and then you want day plus and you want it to be buy and send and then you have your semicolon and then you're going to need trigger order equal RT and after that PX is going to be bid minus 10 because you can't put a market order what you need is actually to send a limit order and the price I want it's going to be whenever my buy order gets triggered it's going to take that price and it's going to give this price minus 10 cents so whatever is the price between the bid and minus 10 I'm going to get executed so now just for example purposes let's look at the level two so you have a 475 as 473. So let's say you had a trigger order at 470. Now it's going down quicker, but 465, whatever the number is over here. The price I'm going to get executed at on my limit order is going to be this price. And I'm going to give myself 
10 cent of slippage. This just means that if a level or it's less liquid and it gets triggered out or it just pops this level, it goes from 466 to 460. I still want to get executed at any prices between these prices. So for myself, the range I give is 10 cents and it's just a worst case scenario. But over here, if you want to have less slippage allowed, you can always change this to like minus five cent, minus two cents. But because it's pre and post market, sometimes the, the spread could be wider. So I definitely just leave it here at 10 cent. Then it's going to be account. Then it's going to be sell, quantity, position. TIF is going to be day plus. So we can see over here that the sell is for the whole position. So it's not just for one share or two shares, it's gonna be my whole position. So it's gonna buy one share and sell the whole position. So this is gonna be for a sell one. So this is gonna be if you are long the stock and you wanna put a sell order to the sell side. So you wanna protect your long position and protect the downside. Over here, what I have is the exact same thing but this one is going to be on the short side. So let's say you're short the stock and you wanna have a stop order at higher prices. This is what it's going to be. And to make this a bit more simple, I'll just add these code in the description. You're gonna be able to copy paste it. And also if you're looking for the best broker and tools for day trading and investing, it's also going to be a link down there. But just be careful when you're adding hotkeys because it doesn't always work perfectly and it's your responsibility to just be careful with that. So just test it out with a very small position make sure everything works. All right, so these are going to be the two. One is gonna be for the buy side, one is gonna be for the sell side. So now we're done with the pre and post market stop. So if you put this in the after hours, it's going to work. Now what we're gonna be going over is gonna be a higher day and a lower day stop. This has nothing to do with the pre and post. This is for regular trading hours. So for a higher day stop, what we have is route equals stop, and then you have stop type, and then market stop price equal high, share equal my position, TIF is going to be day plus, buy and then send. And the next part over here, what I have this part over here, this is not important. You don't need this for this stop, but you can add it if you want. So what this is going to be is just gonna reset my share position. So let's say I was having a stop sent out for a thousand share. Now it's gonna return in my box over here at the bottom, just 25% of my position. So it's gonna show over here instead of a thousand share, it's gonna show me 250. And it's also gonna be resetting my route because you know, if you send out a stop order in Dash Trader, your route is going to be set at stop over here, which is something I don't personally like. So this just resets the loop back to something I would prefer. So 25% of my position with the correct route that I was using before sending out a stop. But if you don't wanna have a headache for the last part, what I would do is just remove this. So example, I'll copy this so I have it. And then you can just remove this and have it like this. And this is how I'm going to be putting it in the description because the next part that I do add is really for myself just to be set to my personal preference. But this is how you would set it up at higher day. And this you can just put it in a hotkey and it just sends it automatically for your full position at higher day. Then over here, it's going to be for a sell over here at lower day. So the same thing route is going to be stopped stop type market stop price equal low share your position tif d plus sell and then sell send and this is the reset as i mentioned so you don't need this part you can just have it like this and it's going to be fine so these are my favorite way to set up my stop so if i'm working in the pre or post with some long position and i want to go get a coffee i'm good to go if i want to just set up a stop at higher day i don't need to check what's the price or anything like that same thing for the lower day it just makes my life easier and it also protects my account so that's it for today peace